Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what's good, everybody? Bring that badger here. The badger stays. Got asked earlier of a day what why it's nicknamed the badger. It wasn't nicknamed the badger. I just picked it up and said bring that badger here, and now it is nicknamed the badger. So I suppose it is nicknamed the badger. The clout chasers back. Um, I just want to give a shout out to everybody that went over to my music video and give it a comment and a like and stuff. It's genuinely much appreciated. I do appreciate. If the clout chaser is wanting clout anywhere, it's truly actually on my music. And I do my best to never mention it on this, which I probably should mention it more on people that are nice to me say I get it mentioned. But it is what it is. Cut me and I bleed subscribers, it would seem. To be fair, ever since I've made that joke, my subscribers has gone up. And somebody said, you're just doing it for subscribers. So I cannot win. I'm going to go back to not saying about the subscribers. Of course I want subscribers. I'm not, I don't not want subscribers. I've got some little mates on here now that I talk to every day pretty much. I talk to them more than I talk to my family. So, you know, evidently, you know. But it's also a nice position where I can actually stay on top of the comments and stuff. So I really don't care. Believe me, I don't care. But anyway, quick shit vid. It's here. So 49 is everything's moving a little bit slow. Obviously, we've got that temporary gadget in um, as sporting director or whatever, um, which is good just to just to feel as though we're actually moving somewhere. Hopefully, Kinnear is moving the furniture around a little bit. Obviously, I don't literally mean the furniture. That would be a total waste of time. I hope he's actually cracking on with stuff. And I have it on good authority that the 49ers are going to invest pretty heavily into absolutely everything. So like L LUTV and stuff's going to become a lot better and... There'll be more content and it'll be more more of a media place for everybody to pick up because you know it is mint and that's the way football's gone, aren't it? Like just getting absolutely bombasted with stuff and we, other than them inside training things, we don't really get to see out. So I think as soon as they move in, come proper, um I think stuff will get cracking really quickly, both good and bad. Because at the moment I've sort of, I've been thinking about it and the players are sort of like in limbo, aren't they? Because who who do they talk to? Obviously they've got Kinnear, but there's no manager there. There's does the do they talk to Rads? He ain't got any authority really over who they want to keep, who they don't want to keep. That'd be why Forshaw's not been given a new contract. It's like who wants who? We don't know at minute. And same for them. So I think as soon as they come in, they've got somebody to tell that they're off. Um so yeah, things will move pretty quick. Rads has come out on Twitter and uh, just responded to somebody and said, sorry that it ended the way it ended. Uh, you know, he didn't want it to end like that, evidently. I still like Rads, I don't care. I think overall, 80% of the things he did have been very good for the club. It's his, it's his relationship with the 49ers, see how they get on with it. Uh, he said that they made some big mistakes, but they've paid a, a, price, a big price for it. And they have, haven't they? They've spent, you know, he's lost £150 million of it, so... There's probably nobody feeling it in the ball sack more than him. Uh, Cock, Robin, Robin McCock is Robin McCock. He's apparently in talks with Scum as well as Tottenham. Uh, I think if he's going to go, he's going to go in. I think he'll end up at Tottenham. I, I don't really see Scum wanting him. I don't. It's not on that Smith level. I don't really care if he goes to Scum. To be fair, just. I have no feelings towards it. it, just is what it is. Apparently three golfers are, are on about investing into 49ers and obviously golf's gone crazy into Saudi money now, hasn't it? They've made a deal with PGA or whatever. I don't really know ins and outs of it. I don't really care about golf. I need to take a breath. <gasps> um, but yeah, so they've, they've apparently want to invest. So it got me thinking like a little bit closer to that Saudi money if we do. Like you can't get away from it at a minute. If you're in sport, you've got some Saudi money coming somewhere and they're getting paid all right. Heather lump, some right Bunsen burner. Rodrigo played for, and then he said Southampton. Then Rodrigo played for Spain the other night. Got mauled off at half time, but which has got a load of things. Loads of players come off at half time for country, don't they? It used to be a thing that you know nearly eleven different players on England used to do. Uh, but he's got loads of shit. Apparently, in press got absolutely bombasted with it, bombarded with crap. So. 
Um, and he, he gave an interview and he's just sort of said that he honestly doesn't know what's happening with his future. And that's what got me thinking about the limbo. They are sort of like just sat waiting to see what happens, aren't they? Um, but he did say that he's got a contract that he needs to honour with Leeds. So he still takes the club seriously in that sense. He didn't say that, but that's the impression I got. But ultimately, he said that he's, you know, he's on Instagram and his mates read the newspapers. So he does, he's aware of the, uh, the fact he's off. I mean, he's off, isn't he, Rodrigo? I just want 49ers to get on in now and then I really think like pretty much every couple of days stuff's just going to start happening. Players are going to announce that they want to go. Players are going to announce that they want to stay. Probably less are going to announce that they want to stay. More are going to announce they're going to go. But yeah. And then just a shout out to do to Gordon McQueen who passed away the other day. Obviously a little bit before my time but a Leeds legend. So yeah. Just an honorary shout out. Nice one. Have a good weekend, everybody. The way they've been, the results they've had, one defeat in 13. I've got Muppets from Leeds talking about pressures on us and Bamford and Forshaw and uh, a couple of others, and it's over to you and this, that, and the other. They got beat seven times since Christmas. We've been beaten beat once. We've set it up from Christmas to be in the right. Boom. <laughs> 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 <laughs>